Hello my beautiful chameleons and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today's video is super exciting because firstly it's a collab, the second part of a collab with my beautiful, wonderful soul sister Anki. If you don't know who she is, then you need to check her out. Both her channel and video will be linked in the description box below, along with both of our part one video, the making of our palettes. I will make sure those videos are linked in the description box also. Um, so yes, this is my Jealous Love palette. I will be creating two looks with this today. So excited. Um, this is look two. So yeah, if you would like to see look one and how I did this one, <laughs> then just stay where you are. Okay guys, so for look number one, I'm going to start out with Royal by Terra Moons. The beautiful deep purple. And I kind of have an idea of what I want to do today. So we will see how that comes out. <laughs> um, I've been dying to play with this. Well, I've been super excited to make it and then to play with it. A few of the shades, I kind of had an idea I wanted to be in this palette anyway. If you haven't seen the making of this and you want to, that video is already up. It'll be linked in the cards above and the description box below. So if you have missed that and you do want to see it, please do go check that out. I do love this shade. This is so much fun, the building your own palettes, because, I mean, if you know me, you know I I love to collect palettes too. I, I'm a huge palette hoarder. I'm aware of it. I know I need help, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's a, a good addiction as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, I, I do love to build my own using the singles also then you know that every single shade in that palette is a shade you're going to use because you chose it to be in that so this was so much fun to make um well, they all are See, so yeah, I decided to go with the theme Jealous Love just because, obviously, jealousy, green eyed monster, all of that. Green. Um, which, if you are not new, won't come as a surprise to you. So I'm going to bring the under, because I have done my base, which... I completely forgot while I was being so heavy handed but it's okay it's okay well I, uh, I did my base first so that I could film the intro and outro for the making of the palette so yeah, you will have seen my nice blank face at the beginning and end of that one. But obviously for the filming part of the creating the palette, you don't see my face, just my hands. And I did put some uh, nail stickers on to cover my terrible nails. They're in such bad condition. Um, but were there any stickers? They didn't last. I'm like, Anki has the most beautiful nails always. I don't know how she does anything in them. I would be poking myself in the eye left, right and centre. They always look so stunning. Um, right, what are we going to go with next? I think I am going to... Am I? Yeah. Am I? Yeah, I'm going to go in with Caps Lock from Lethal Cosmetics and I'm just going to use that just on the very edge of the purple, so kind of 50% on, 50% off, 
and then just down into the crease. This is such a pretty pink. I do love me some pink and purple with green. <laughs> yeah, this pink is so pretty. Yeah, I can't wait to see Anki's palette. I know it is going to be awesome. And her looks are going to be awesome too. And she just has this real eye for colour. The, the combination she does. She, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, complete queen of build your own palettes. I definitely need to do more. My plan... Bless you, Mr Fluff. My plan for this year is definitely to do more, more with them. Bless you, Mr. Fluff, you are right there? I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to do more with, with my singles. I'm just gonna bring it just around, just onto the outer part of the, Bottom bit there. So what are your plans for Valentine's Day, guys? I think for us it is going to be sitting in with a meal, watching a film, just chilling. something nice and, and chilled. Gone are the days when going out was really a thing. That's not down to my age though, that's down to my pain, <laughs> pain levels. If I could, I would still be, well, maybe not a complete party animal because uh, I don't recover as quick these days. The older you get, the uh, the longer it takes to recover from a night out, I have discovered. Beautiful. Just go back in with the brush with the little purple on. Excuse all of the the loud noises, they are still building stuff across the road, big apartments, retirement apartments, so it's going to be going on for months because they never build anything quickly. So I just feel like I'm going to be apologising for the noise for a good while yet. And then I think for blending that out, I'm going to go in with Onset. This one in the middle from Lethal Cosmetics. And I can't remember now, is it from the Destiny or the Memento? I'm not sure. I went to have a look on their site and they don't sell these palettes anymore. So that threw me. So I had to go on like Google Images <laughs> and see if I could work it out. But I did discover that this one's called Onset, so we're we're all good. <laughs> okay, so for under the eyes, I think I am going to go into Lethal Cosmetics Altitude, and I'm just gonna use that all the way along. Your lower lash line there. Beautiful. I wonder if me and Anki have put any of the same shades in. There's been a few occasions where we've put one or two of the same shades in our palettes. So it's going to be super exciting to see super exciting okay what do I want to go with for the lid I think 
I'm going to I'm going to go in with Blue Lagoon from Glam Shop Poland first. I'm going to have to put that on with my finger, aren't I? Check that out. How stunning is that shade? Oh, I love how that's looking. And then I'm going to go into Cleona Cosmetics Courtyard. I think these two together are going to look stunning. These Cleona shadows are beautiful and I think next to the Glam Shop because the Glam Shop sparkles and the multi-crimes are amazing so I think the combination of the two works really well. Yeah okay so I think for the lower lash line i'm going to go in with light cheap from the pastel roses um pop up. i know that anki will definitely have some pastel roses and shades in her palette because she is a huge fan of the pastel roses singles i mean she should definitely be on their pr list she promotes them so much Definitely. I don't think I hear anybody else talk about the pastel roses as much as I hear Anki talk about them. Um, but they, as you can see, they're absolutely stunning. Really stunning shades. They do some amazing shifty shades. And this, obviously, with the pink. The pink and green... Perfect for me. I do love a pink and green combo. Beautiful. Okay, so finally, for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to go into Star, and that is from Glam Shop Poland. I love this. Jace is throwing around his treat, as you do. Beautiful. Glam Shop Poland is another one where the the sparkles are just truly beautiful, and and it is so difficult to look at normal shimmers in the same way once you have all of these amazing amazing sparkles. And I do love me a shifty shade. That is gorgeous. So, yeah. Ooh. Super, super excited to see Yankees. I've put way too much on there. That's absolutely fine. We'll just add a bit more of that side. <laughs> bit of extra sparkle for Valentine's. And nothing wrong with that. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to have to try and clean up some of this fallout as well. I'm going to head off, finish my face. I will come back to show you finished look number one. So if you would like to see that, then just stay where you are. Okay, guys. So this is finished look number one. 
let me know what you think in the comment section below everything else i've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to and now i will hand you on over to look number two okay guys so for look two i'm gonna start with royal by terra moons cosmetics and i'm going to and take that can you can't see with me just in this kind of outer V area yeah I definitely do want more from Terra Moons it's just the cost because it's not just buying the shadows it's then having them shipped to the UK um, but I I do love both the mattes and shimmers I have tried from them so far. And I'm gonna look forward just to make sure that that is going to line up with just above the crease there. I'm not gonna go any further in then yeah I think it's about halfway ish and then looking forward to make sure that we are getting that kind of shape gonna make sure to fill that in on the inside and leave the edges a little a little blurry blendage I'm definitely gonna wanna leave this palette put together for a a little while just so that I can use these shades together a bit more because I love them and then I'm going to go into Lethal Cosmetics Altitude and I'm going to take that right along the edge part of, part of the way out I haven't 100% decided what I'm doing yet, just enjoying it. I'm keeping it, kind of packing it into the, into the crease and then gently kind of blending up and out. looking good yeah I'm loving how that's looking so I'm just going to take a clean brush and I'm just going to blend the edges of the deeper shade blending them more up up and along okay for shimmers I think I'm gonna first go in with Cupid from s and B Beauty now, I am aware that these apply better with finger I do need to pick up some of the sponge tip applicators um, because I have been told by quite a few people that they make a great alternative so you can be a bit more precise it's not that I mind getting my fingers dirty, it's just that the size of my fingers. I can't be very precise. I don't know how people manage it, truly. <laughs> but these shadows are beautiful. This shade, I think in particular with the name Cupid as well. It's very fitting for well, that's a Halloween palette. I don't know where my mind's at. 
for a Valentine's palette. It's stunning. Such a pretty shade. Check that out. I love that. You know, wipe it all over my jogging bottoms as you do. Okay. Um, for the rest of my lid, the inner part, I am going to go in with what are you called? Virtual Pink by Glam Shop Poland. I wish I had a better memory than I do. I can forget things pretty much instantly. This one is more of a flaky, I say more of, it is a flaky formula. I would really have done better to dampen my brush, but it's okay. It works. And just slightly more difficult to pick up on a brush. I think I picked the wrong brush. Let me try. Let me try this one. Okay. Are you going to work better? I think so. Yeah. I do love the super sparkles of the Glam Shop. The Glam Shop shadows, they are. The turbo pigments are something else. I mean, their sparkles in general are just amazing, but their turbo pigments are out of this world beautiful. Check that out. I think that goes perfectly with Cupid. Love it. When you're using these shadows, I would highly, highly suggest doing your eyes first because when they're where they're flaky they do it's harder to not get fall out look at that oh no Jays I wasn't telling you to look at that sorry pickle my, my dog's like, oh, what am I looking at? Is it exciting? Not for you, my boy, I'm afraid. That goes beautifully, absolutely beautifully. I'm just going to take a little bit more of Cupid just to kind of blend it into the edges there. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then just a little bit more of Royal by Terra Moons, the deeper purple matte, just to tap over that edge. Okay, so I have primed my under eyes so that I can crack on and get it sorted. So, so I'm first gonna go into Jaded by Davina Cosmetics. I'm I'm loving playing with this because greens with pinks and purples are just my love. I I love all of the shades together. And so it was a perfect excuse to do that. Davina is another one that I would really love more shadows from but again it is it's the shipping because they're not the the cheapest initially but then when you add the shipping on top it becomes quite quite expensive 
sadly. But I do love Davina's shadows. And I will go around to trying more. It's just, just money. I'm going to, I'm going to go into Replica from Lethal Cosmetics and use that to blend out jaded a little bit. I don't want to take it too, too low. But I do want it to show up, both shades to show up. I'm gonna go. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit of Jada, just to make sure keep that depth there. Absolutely obsessed, loving it. Okay, so for for the inner part of my lower lash line, I am going to use Dragon from the Pastel Roses, and so excited. This. Look at that, it's such a beautiful shade. I know that you don't really get to see much of its true beauty where it's just in a small patch of the lower lash line. But check that out. Beautiful. Ignore all of the, the fallout because I will get rid of that. That is the joy of doing your eyes first, you allow yourself that clean up, clean up time, um, but also you don't have to be quite as careful whilst putting the eyeshadow on, meaning that your concentration can just be on the application of the beautiful colours. Loving the look of that. So let's have a C. Okay, for inner corner and brow bone highlight, I think there's only really one. Where is that? Actually, I think for my inner corner, I'm going to go in with, what are you called? Courtyard from Cleona Cosmetics. I think actually that is going to add something pretty special. Yeah. Yes, it is. Look at that. The shift in the shade is beautiful. There is a pink shift, which we know I love. <laughs> Cut that out. For Highlighting my brow bone, I am going to use Star, I believe it's called, if I remember rightly. <laughs> yes, Star by Clamshell Poland. Initially, I was thinking of using that for both the inner corner and brow bone, but I'm liking the green inner corner a lot more. Ooh. I am loving how that's looking. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I'll come back to show you finished look number two and have a chat. So if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys. So this is finished look number two. Come a bit closer. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you prefer look one or look two? Well, neither. Let's have a chat. Um, so yeah, I have had so much fun creating two looks with this palette. I'm definitely going to be keeping it put together for a little while so I can play with it some more because I'm just in love with it. So happy with it. Um, and I know Anki's palette is stunning and I cannot wait to see her looks. So yeah, guys, if you haven't been over already to check out Anki's channel, Anki's videos, then please do head over and subscribe, like, comment. Both her channel and video will be linked in the description box below. Um, also, the making of the palettes. Um, both of us did that in our first part of our collab, so I'll link both videos, both mine and Anki's makings of the palettes, in the description box below, so you can go check that out. 
everything else I've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below. Um, but yeah, this was so, so much fun to make. So this is my Jealous Love palette. Super happy with it. For me, my perfect Valentine's palette. Greens with pinks and purples. What more could a girl ask for? My heart. Um, so yeah, I am, I've had so much fun. This has been so much fun. Creating the palette, creating the looks. I absolutely love doing these collabs with Anki. Um, they're just so much fun. I adore Anki. She is the queen of build your own palettes. So if that is the kind of thing you like, if you are someone that owns a large singles collection or wants to, is collecting them, Anki's channel, she does a lot of build your own palettes. She dupes palettes that she's not going to pick up. Please go check her out. She is amazing. She is amazingly talented, colourful, beautiful, and just the sweetest, most lovely person whom I couldn't imagine my life without now. I adore her. She is my soul sister now and always. And Anki, thank you so, so much. I love these collabs. I cannot wait for the next one, which guys, hopefully won't be too long in the future. So if you wanna see that, make sure you're subscribed um, and hit the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when those videos go up. So guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are new, if you've come over from Anki's channel, firstly, thank you so, so much. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you'll consider sticking around and joining my beautiful chameleon family. It would be wonderful to have you as part of the family. So, yes, if that sounds interesting to you, please do subscribe. Come and join us. And thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do?